Hello everyone, this is Kunal here again. I'm super excited to share this small tutorial with you guys using Node-RED. This is a really powerful tool you can use uh, any new developer or anybody, you know, a lot of IoT space people are using this, but I really feel that everybody can use this tool. You can quickly prototype your uh, product service or whatever you want. If you are familiar with JavaScript, this is, you can pick up very fast this tool and basically it uses node in the back so you, anybody used node express or anything like that you can really pick up very fast so without further ado let's get started and uh, what we'll do is i'll just share uh, what are the key points we are going through we are going to build a live tracker for uh, transit system in my city and uh, I'm going to walk you through different points and setting up the live tracking and you can see the bus moving uh, on the map and I have built a package for this uh, GTFS feed it converts the live tracking feed into the JSON and then you can play with it so yeah uh, you can download this package and I'll show you step by step how you can do it so let's get started so if you look at this one we need to install two packages here uh, one is a web world view it's a web view for uh, showing a map and then you can use this feed to show uh, where the bus is uh, using their latitude and longitude so let's get started so first so here we have to do list like what we need to get started with first is we need to install these two uh, packages here they call it palette but we need to install these nodes so what we do is we go here and in manage palettes you go there and you look for so first one we were looking for world map one so we'll go here we we'll look for that one we need to install that let's install and then we'll once it is done then we need to install the second one let's copy this one and don't worry about it i'm going to give link for this page so you can try step by step so I'm going to install this both the packages okay once it's installed on the left side you will see here uh, the GTFS feed is there and there is another one world map so we need these two so we'll go step by step now what we need is to execute any command uh, we we'll use this injecting and we can set certain timer because we have set here we need to set interval but we'll test later on that second we need http request so uh, if you go here in networks you will find in network you want to make a http request you drag and drop this so what we need to do is we need to make call for this url to get so I'm gonna put it here so let's have this I'm gonna make a get call and if you look at here I mentioned that uh, we need to use binary buffer so we need to get that buffer response so get live data you can just name this node so you know what you're doing right make a request okay we're gonna make a request from here then second uh, second node what we need is we need to convert that into a feed so let's uh, convert this feed and you connect those and here you literally don't need to do you know you just you just give some name so you know what you're doing here and just to look at the response uh, what we'll do is uh, I'm going to get this debug and show you what happens so basically when you make a request it's going to convert and it's gonna give us a payload on the right side debug panel you will see so let's make a request you see so we got the entity and there is an array so in array you will find the vehicle detail and position you will find where that vehicle is right now with the ID okay so you literally don't need any programming knowledge here you can simply drag and drop and understand okay so what we need to do is now we need to 
convert that data so that we can use that data. So a lot of time we call it transforming the data, manipulating the data. So we'll just transform this data so can we can use it. So first thing, so if you look at all this, we are done with this, we are done with this, 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 everything. So now we need to change the data so that we can use it. The first change is we need to only get the vehicle. So it comes, You, if you look at the response, it comes as an entity, RF entities, then inside that each array we have vehicle. And that vehicle, uh, you will get all the information, vehicle uh, ID and label, which is here. So literally we don't need anything outside right now. So we need to skip everything. So for that, there is a node. So we need to add this change node. And when you attach this, so basically first thing, I just want the vehicle data. I don't want anything else and create that array. So what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this expression this is called jsonata you can learn about it i'll give a link in the description but i'm gonna set it to message or payload now payload has header and entity and then the array so i just want array of vehicle so what we do is here i go and i put this expression and i'm just gonna put this okay in payload entity in vehicle i just want array of this so once i set that so let's see what you get once we make a request you see i got the array of all the vehicle data you see position and everything so all outer part is gone this is what we want okay so now we need to transform the data so that we can show it on our map so how we're going to transfer is this we need to use this map and put it on my our payload so let's do so after transforming to this level you can add one more I'm going to rechange the payload again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open express and I'm going to paste my code here. Okay, basically. And then once it is done, I'm going to just save this one and let's see what we get now. You see, now I got all flattened data now. What I exactly want. So what we need now, we need to show this on map. So let's get the map. Here is a world map. I'm going to put this map here and you can go and configure. So here I'm going to say, okay, I want to track live bus. I'm just going to call live bus so you can give. Uh, default latitude, longitude, you can just get. Uh, so map, I'm just open straight map. I'm going to use this one. Uh, zoom level, maybe I'll keep like 13 and then uh, latitude and longitude I'll go to square one square one city center so basically uh, in URL you will find latitude longitude so I'm just gonna use that one So once we deploy this one, so we need that URL. So URL, we set it to live bus. So I'm just gonna open, let's see, you see? So we are here now. So we need little bit zoom. So let's keep this zoom maybe 14. Let's see how it looks like. It's gonna refresh. Oh, this is much better. So uh, now what we need, we need to feed in the data and then we can see. So one more thing, uh, okay, look at this one, what I'm trying to do. I'm setting the icon as bus. So you will see all little bus icon everywhere. So let's do that. I'm going to connect this node to our map and I'm going to make a request and it's going to populate our bus data here. So let's do that one more time and you see there you go you see all the buses but now what will happen is now it won't move because live data is changing so we need to make a request on certain frequency so 
that we can do in this inject node. So what I want is I want to repeat after every interval. So let's say every five seconds, I want to make a call and see the uh, get the latest data. So let me do that. Deploy my node and make a request. So it's going to make a request every five seconds. So let me pull this here. So you will see now bus will buses will be moving. Uh, it's going to make another call. See, you see now this 910 is moving.